Um, I'd already decided to come back to England. I wanted to work in England. And I'd realised through studying some of Action's competitors there was this model for dealing with the SME market. But really I felt none of them really had any substance. And when I came across Action, um, again, things didn't quite go right in the process, but I was a bit tenacious. I had to find out who these people were and get in touch with them myself. And once that happened, I was away. What was I looking at? Um, great route to market, um, great product. And number one, for me, a great team of people that I believed in and I trusted. And I think it was the trust more than anything else. Neil Sinclair, Sally Sinclair, great team. And that's really what I was buying when I, when I bought into action. And it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> Um, I've been both a manager, reasonably senior level in big corporations, division level in big corporations. I've been a consultant, um, but I guess my biggest single result was actually working as a coach, which was the sort of precursor to coming to action. I was working in a um, £100 million division of, um, let's just say, a blue chip multinational company because they won't want the results revealed. But we took them from £5 million um, net profit, two and a quarter years later we were at 25 million and uh, I was the only coach on this particular, in this particular business and it was simply about unlocking and unblocking parts of the organisation, strategically important processes that weren't working, didn't change many of the people but just set them free to do their jobs unencumbered, some technical insights but not many but just, it was just the relentless coaching every week, funnily enough, just like action. Have you done your homework? Have we done the steps we said we were going to do? What do the KPIs say? And suddenly we've turned 5 million into 25 million. And that's a, that's a big jump in just, just over two years. And so once I felt I could do coaching, guess what? I found action. <laughs> I'd been in business with a couple of friends and I felt I was doing a lot of the doing, a lot of the selling, delivery, um, and I thought actually no, I'm big enough now, I can actually do this for myself. And it was a question of finding the right partner so it would still be my business but I wouldn't actually be on my own. And I think the Action franchise is a great example of how you can do that and that's why I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> my god there's so many things um, the team the amount of help I've had people just just jumping in to help me um, give you an example one of my colleagues George Hanides invited me to the alignment with his first colleague his first client how trustful is that to invite someone you don't know to help you with your first client pretty critical event but it, it went fantastically well for, for all of us um, I'll never forget that that he's given to me and we've collaborated since um, so much of the teamwork you'd expect in a, if you're an employee, but actually we're all in separate companies and we all work together. I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. Really good. <laughs> How would I encourage someone? I think they have to ask themselves, you know, are they, are they committed to being part of a team? Um, are they going to be 100% involved? I forget the exact word we use in action, but it's 100, you've got to be there 100% at least. You can't do it part-time, you've got to be right in there. And guess what, if you can't do it for yourself, you won't be able to do it for your client. So it's a, it's a must for that. But if you can do that and you're excited by that, not intimidated by that, chances are you'll make a great coach.